Hello and welcome to another update video today about VeChain. A lot of requests for VeChain, but um, and I, I think I know why, because we saw a few green candles. That was nothing unexpected. Um, I made a, a VeChain video, I think a couple of weeks ago. I don't make these too often at the moment because there is just nothing to report other than we are still going down and we are still going down. You know, we, we've obviously had a bit of a move to the upside, but that's nothing substantial. Just I, I would always encourage people to zoom out um, when we see a few green candles to look at the context. And I mean, we've only a few days ago made a new low. Um, as forecasted, you know that the view is still to come down once more in a wave five. That hasn't changed. In fact, if I remember correctly in the last video, I actually talked about, oops, I'm on the log chart here. Um, I actually talked about um, a wave four retracement would be coming because I haven't touched this count since my last video and it seems to be following it nicely. So nothing really to add here. I think we are in this wave four. Um, on the lower time frame, there is not really anything to work with. There is no impulse that has been created. And if you remember correctly, we looked at this many times and I've always said to really get a good indication that the low is in, we need to break above this wave too high. That's at 3.3 cents. And VeChain is a good example for coins that when they have dropped below the 38.7% uh, retracement, hmm, they are in trouble especially here when they when, this is the 88.7 percent retracement at 3.3 cents here yeah so you can see how it dropped below it in may it hovered below it yeah couldn't break above it came down lower retested from below was successful in the retest and sold off further and um, yeah looking at this i'm still looking at here possibly the way four correction and then a wave five down however if we break above this wave too high back above the 88.7% FIP level, then we can talk. And I think then we can at least have a really good indication that the low might be in. Um, it's, it would still be very early. Yeah, it, it, it's still a lot of downside pressure. We would then have, still have in the, in the you know, in the, um, you know, on the chart, on the price, there would still be a lot of downside pressure because just from the higher level point of view, not too much has happened, but still a move above the 88.7% FIP level is, use you know is, is a first real good signal um other than that yeah i mean if i go to the i could go to the 30 or maybe the 15 minute chart looking at this it did certainly move up yesterday i know that but what is done here isn't really anything impulsive the problem is this move up looks rather corrective yes yeah, surely it could maybe be a wave one then here a wave two let's look at the fib extensions because what we need to see to see a wave three at least the 1.618 extension. Okay, we might have one, but it's not yet a complete impulse. So here maybe a wave one, maybe a wave two, maybe a wave three, maybe a wave four already in, and then it could move up in a wave five, but it's just nothing reliable. This is certainly as many other coins are doing as well, um, possibly a small impulse that might be happening, but where we've already seen impulses on other coins, um, VeChain hasn't really done that yet. We only have so far basically here a one a two possibly a three possibly a four and we should then get another five but this could easily be an abc as well and that's the problem yeah because we only have three waves up so far here maybe the fourth where for example solana has done a one two three four five so solana has done five waves uh, and so have other coins here um i can't really see that let's take a look how far did the wave four come down to the 38.2 retracement. I mean, there's a realistic chance for another leg to the upside, but it's just nothing that, um, you know, is certainly, that's substantial enough to consider it bullish, okay? It might be a start, but really in reality, we only have three waves. It did move up, sold off some of these profits already, um, and it might now start a wave five. But until we get the five waves, given the context of this chart, I'd be extremely careful. Target for this fifth wave, if we get it, would be between 1.86 and 1.95 cents and it would be very important that to put another wave high in um, VeChain needs to hold the 1.7 cent level yep which is here the 50 percent retracement dropping below that level would make it very likely that this was only an a wave a b wave and a c wave the problem is that i have is this one this wave one is very corrective so the chart really needs to prove that it's capable of doing five waves up if we get these five waves up it would be possibly a wave one we could then look at a wave two retracement at, at scaling in area 
But given the context, I would be extremely careful with that because given the context, we still expect another wave down. Now, don't get me wrong, this could still move on. I mean, it, depending on how, let's say, how bullish this sentiment now is in the crypto market in general, we could still get a substantial spike as we had it here to the top of the channel, which would be 2.3 cents. But then we are still round about 45%, 50% away from the 88.7% FIP level. So that ju yeah, just that you understand the context, okay? But yeah, that's where we are at the moment. Um, hope you liked the update about VeChain. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.